Okay, so we've got the pusher board now uh, completely assembled. Uh, to program it, we're using a USB to serial converter. This is the one I have. Uh, you want the jumpers in the power off position and the 3.3 volt position to set the voltage rail. Um, the inputs are over here actually, so we have VBAT in ground, so that's your positive input and then ground and then the digital input for the normally closed door switch hooks up to the positive and input pin there. So right now uh, we'll just go ahead, I've got some test code over here um, and we'll, we'll walk through this a little bit. but. Uh, this is just my sample code to test out everything on the board. So this will do a, a voltage measurement. It will uh, determine what woke it up, either the timer or the external input. And we'll also, if you wanted to, could do some Wi-Fi stuff. But for now, it's just testing that basic functionality and then going back to sleep. So anyway, let's just go ahead and program this. Now, right now, ooh, I just woke it up. So... The way you, you actually would do this is um, it could be sleeping right now. So I have applied four, four volts to the input um, and it is sleeping. So we would have to wake it up and then while holding the wake button, you press and hold the GPIO button, GPIO zero, and then press and release the reset button. Okay. And then you let go of everything. Okay, so now we woke it up. So let me just go over that again. If it's sleeping, wake it up, press and hold the GPIO button, then press and release the reset button, let go of the GPIO zero button, and then let go of the wake button. Okay, it's in programming mode now. Then from your Arduino IDE over here, you wanna set up your board. Uh, I made a video about this, but we're just going to use the uh, Adafruit Husa ESPD266 here from the drop down, um, and then use the default settings here. I'm going to upload at the fastest speed possible. The port is obviously our USB to serial converter here, um, and then you should be able to just go ahead and hit upload. And if it successfully starts uploading you'll see the TX and RX LEDs start flashing and we're going to as soon as it's finished there we're going to open up a serial monitor window here and you will see okay that it went immediately to sleep but we're going to wake it up now and you'll see external wake the battery voltage is 3.9 volts and it's back to sleep and you'll see here that the sleep current is currently at nothing pretty much if i zoom in on that you'll see that that is oops that is less than one microamp of sleep current so it's pretty phenomenal and then i'm going to go ahead down here and actually wake it up again so you can see what happened so it woke up and immediately went back to sleep okay so that is pretty much it so that's how you get started with it just real quick on the code here, I've got all the pound defined set up here for the various pins we're using. LED pin zero, the done pins 14, external wake is 12, the battery enable pin is 13. It's using analog input zero for the battery voltage, but remember we have to enable that voltage measurement. And just going straight through here, we're using the serial monitor or the, uh, sorry, the serial port at 115200, and immediately it needs to look at the external wake pin, configure it as an input, do a quick, quick read of it, and then just set the flag, external wake is true, if, if it is high. And that's how we know that it was a, uh, the external input versus the timer. So if I let this just sit here, it'll wake up once an hour, and we'll see in the serial monitor window that uh, down here, the timer woke it up, okay? So after it does that, after it determines if it was an external wake up or not, it goes in and then enables the battery pin as an output, right, um, drives that high, gives it a second just for that voltage to stabilize. That's, that's kind of a long delay there. You could shorten that up quite a bit. And then does the battery voltage scaling. So it's reading analog input zero there. Uh, it's a 10 bit input divided by 1024 times 4.5 to give us voltage 
And then I put this in here as kind of a calibration constant. And I was playing around with that. It's, it still needs some tweaking there. I'm finding that the analog input on the ESPD-266 is not very accurate. So I, I thought there was a voltage reference in there. And if there is, it's, you, you still need to calibrate to something. So anyway, we'll do future videos on that. Okay, then we drive the LED low, and that actually turns it on, wait 500 milliseconds, and then drive that done pin, well, we configure it as an output, uh, then we do our serial print of whether it was an external or timer wake, print out the battery voltage, give it another half a second, and then drive that done pin high, and then it's back to sleep. And all of your other standard ESP8266 stuff works in here as well, like Wi-Fi, uh, communication and so on so and, and that's the whole point of the pusher board is to push out notifications and we'll talk about that again in future video but this is just a hardware bring up video so that's it